What should I do today? I know! To the build cave! What should I build today? All these options, what should I do? <gasps> I know. To the building grounds. Today I am going to be building a very, very secured base. So if you're going to be playing with other people and you guys are doing like a base video, like trying to win a game or protect the obsidian, people can normally do sky bases, but I'm going to choose to build a ground base. So if you guys do enjoy it, like and subscribe and let's do it. So first thing you want to do is pick out an area. I picked out a nice flat area next to the sky bases. Now what you want to do, you want to find a spot and dig down four. So one, two, three, four, and do that by a six by six area. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Repeat that process over here. So we have finished down the basement. So now you want to grab some smooth sandstone and fill up the walls just like this. Now what you want to do is you want to remove this, this little bit of stone left down here. And replace it with spruce. Just like this. Now you want to build a staircase out, so put a sta uh, stair here. Slab. Stair. Stair. Slab. Stair. And we're out. So there's a little bit of the ba ba basement done. Now grab your oak. You want to fill this area in right here. Same with this area here. And this. So we're eventually getting there. Go up two, so one, two. On all the edges. Now cover up the tops like this. And the thing, people are going to try to get in this place. Now grab your stairs and go along like this. Just on this one side. Now put your now put logs in these corners just like this. To help tie this place together. Now do that stair thing again. So it's gonna look like a pretty a pretty secret. It's just gonna look like a normal house, but it's not. So you wanna do it like this again. And right here. They want to fill in it like this. Now that's a pretty deep drop just for a little house. Do your final staircase up on both sides. Now add your slabs on top of the house to fully encase it. And there is the frame of the house. There's no doors because I still haven't added them yet. Now grab your stairs and go upside down on the edges. No one says you can't be stylish during uh, a war. And now just go across or a friendly battle. Just like this. Now this is going to be a double door house. I don't really do that, do that that often. But this is going to be a double door house. So break these two right here. Put a door. So this is what should in theory look like. Don't worry we'll get the floors patched up. Put the glass on the outside. So it's going to be pretty hard for you to actually do that, but you can run around the outside. Now get some smooth slabs, well smooth sand slabs, to go along this to, pe to make people think that, oh, there's just, that's the floor. Now this one's going to be a little bit different because you should hold shift to get down, because other people will be like holding shift like this, like this to get down, but all you have to do is just tap shift and you're down. That's what I do to get down. So now grab your stairs, go upside down, 
with them along the ceiling is detail does matter. And also you can use this as a survival base when there's like zombies and stuff. Now grab your trap doors and go along like this. Yes, it does look weird, but when you see them coming, or if or you just do this in your own world, you don't have to put trap doors on the inside if you're in your own world. Flip them down so pe they can't spy on you to see what you're doing. Let's look at that. It's better than putting a full on block because they can be up there in a the sky base spying at you. All you have to do is just close, like if you're making a chain armor and they and they can see it. Done. They can't see now. It's a fully encased house. Now, time to actually make this place secure, because people can just go like, oh, let me just run in. Or mobs can just go up and blow down this house. Now, what you want to do is something a little bit harder. So, now what you want to do is grab your oak. And you're going to want to come out about five. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, right here. Go up two. Repeat that process just like this. Now, go over three. So, one, two, three. So that should be enough. Add one more, and then just go this way. Then stop there, because it stops right there on the log. Come over here, start back up on the log. Go over two, count over five. So one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna be our marker on where to stop. Go like this, just keep going until you see our marker. Keep going up. This will all start making sense in a second. Just keep doing this. And then go back three. So one, two, three. And then we can just tie it all together. So then it should look like this. Now grab your spruce. Now what you want to do is put one on top of every single one of these. And put two. So go all the way around just like this. Making it secure. So now no mob or per... Well, until we fix this up. So now what you want to do is get rid of all this grass. So, so now what you want to do is you want to break a block right here next to your gate and then go hollow, that hollow down two by two and then four long. Put down a sticky piston, put down two, two sticky pistons like this with the type of wood you want. So let's use dark oak, well spruce, get repeaters, hook it up with your redstone, do this. So now you want to figure out your redstone, where you want to put your redstone. So let's put our redstone here. Let's hollow out a little path for it. Make it make it go up. So we can just have it stop there. And then that should be all good. Cover it all up. And then flip the lever. Actually, you gotta put the lever down. Flip the lever. And there's your little gate. So flip the lever whenever something's coming. So now I'm trying to actually fix this up so it would actually work properly. So you want to cover this up like this, get your oak, go up on top of this, get your spruce and cover it on top, and you got yourself your entrance just like this. Now grab your stone brick walls and do it like this. So there you go, that's what it should look like with the stone bricks. Flip the lever, and there you go. Nothing can get in except for a spider. Now there's a good thing about this. We come like this. We can just simply let's just let's just say this is very very simply done. The reason we put blocks there is so zombies can't break it down. So skeletons can technically shoot, but then zombies can't get in because they can't because there's a door there. So now what you want to do is when you surround your base in two like this with berries. So that nothing can get in. And then also you can like create a path if you wanted to. Like just to entice people to come. Like this. And just keep doing this. So now the entire base is surrounded in berry bushes. So no spiders can go like, okay, let me climb out this. By the time they get around here, they'll be pretty much dead. So there we go. This place is pretty surrounded and heavily well armored, ready to go. So now put torches all along every single top one, just so you have light so mobs don't spawn on your wall. So now you can put down like a chest up here, and also these chests, and also these trap doors act like rest for the chest. Because when people, because let's just say you're away from your base and someone's only like sneaking in, they can do, 
And they climb the wall. They look in there. They don't see any chest. They'll probably come in here, look around, and they don't see any chest. So you can put down your crafting table here. Furnaces. And then your enchantment table. Well, crafting table, furnaces, enchantment table. Come downstairs. Depending on how many people are going to be here. I'm just going to put one bed because I don't know how many people are going to be here. So I'm just putting one. With a one armor stand. Now. People like to kill you. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a mini sort of thing on each side so people don't know which way you went. So now that I got everything cleaned up for this, for the three diversions, now there could be three different people coming in, which could be a problem, but there are three diversions. So this will be the cave drop. You'll have this one go straight down to bedrock, as in your diamond mind, and the fastest way down is to jump in water. Now what you can do is this. You can have them go all the way down and live. Or if it's like you die, you're out. You can put lighters underneath the water and lava underneath it so they go flying down. Now this one is more of a trickier one. So you're going to put a mine cart, well, a, a plank here. With rails, power rails. And then activator rail and then a power rail. So when you go on, hit the button and you go. So pretty much like, oh, they're coming. So pretty much you can go like, put it on this wall. That's why it's two walls. So you can go on here. They're coming. And then you'll go. So this will be diversion one. Well, this is diversion one. This is diversion two. And if you get lucky like I did, you see this massive ravine. What you could do is do the same exact track trick over there. And then put an activator rail and then a power rail. Put your minecart here. Button here. But until we take that, you want to get yourself a door that they can't see through. So like spruce, like I just, like I said, spruce. Now you can put a spruce door here, here, and here. When they come running down these stairs, they're going to be like, oh geez, what door do we take? So there's only one way to make these three tricks work. So if they open this door and they see a minecart missing, they're going to think, I mean, if they open this door and they see a minecart missing and there's a minecart over there, they're going to suspect you went this way. So either remove the minecarts. So you take this one. There's no minecarts left. You could eat, or you could do this. Come over here. Forget about pressing the button. Sit in a minecart that's in front of the powered minecart mine and then go. So that makes them think that you did not take the minecarts. That will make them think you took the ladder and the cave. Pretty simple. So let me give you the scenario. So you're running back home. You have really low health because they are fighting you. Two guys in diamond armor. They're still chasing you. You get in here. You flip the lever that raises that front, that front plate. That stalls you about five seconds. You run in here. Get on your extra mine cart. And then floor it. Right out of the way. They don't see you or which way you went. You land on the water, destroy the evidence, and then run down a cave you made around over here. And then after you get down here, just break, just place your cobblestone down, hold shift, and watch them run by. So pretty simple. So pe pretty much, this is pretty much the juking area, because they will never know which way you went. Don't take the cave, because that's like the obvious one that you could you would go with. So let's make this place look more livable to make it look like it's an actual lounge, like an actual actual chair you can sit on. So this is pretty much the whole entire secured base done. Not half bad. So you got yourself a mine and a lot of other stuff. So you got yourself a mine, three escape routes, and if they try to dig it underneath the base, you could run because you would hear that you could run on top of the ground because they won't be able to catch up to you because they're under the ground. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys want to see next. This is pretty fun. So, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.